Alright guys, so this video is very long and took me a long time to make, so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video, especially if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. I 100% guarantee you will not be disappointed. If you are, then I guess you can just unsubscribe and dislike it, but you're not going to be disappointed. If you are not a Kingdom Hearts fan, I have plenty other Smash videos that you can watch so if you would still go ahead and subscribe and check out another smash video or even stay on this one and just see and appreciate all the hard work that i put into it that would be great just so you know i still have an ulcer on the tip of my tongue and my throat is still a little bit sore so i do apologize if i sound a little weird or some of you know my uh, enunciations are not that great but anyway let's get right into the video what if kingdom hearts had a super smash bros like game well i'm gonna tell you one thing I have created the absolute perfect roster for this hypothetical game. Let's check it out. All right, so here we have 75 Kingdom Hearts characters for this hypothetical Smash Bros game. And I think I have picked all of the best characters to fill out this roster. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought. What I'm really proud of myself for is putting it in a particular order for all these characters. And I'm gonna break that down to you first. The first column is all the people that are connected to Sora's heart, quite literally. I know he makes bonds with, you know, his friends and other Disney characters, but the people that are quite literally connected to Sora's heart, mostly described in Kingdom Hearts 3. You have Roxas, Xion, and Ventus. Vanitas is connected to Ventus, so I kind of put him down at the bottom too. Cross from Xion is who she's connected to, so that would be Namine and Kyrie. Below these characters are the Wayfinders, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, along with some other Birth by Sleep characters such as Master Ericus, Master Yen Sid, and Mickey Mouse himself. Below the Birth by Sleep characters are everyone connected to Master Xehanort for the most part. So you have Vanitas, Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Terranort, Xemnas, Ansem, Marluxia, and Zigbar. Next we have the Disney characters that would be in the Smash Bros Kingdom Hearts game and I just wanted to note that Sully and Mike Wazowski are actually like a duo character so kind of like the Ice Climbers where that's how my concept for them would be and I actually have an easter egg for that movie in there. For those of you that are unaware in Monsters Inc the running gimmick is that Mike Wazowski is always being covered up by something, whether it's the Monster Inc. logo or something like that. You can never see his face when he's being filmed. So to pay homage to that, I have for their select screen, Mike is actually cut off. So you see Sully, but Mike is cut off. And I just thought that was a really cool little thing that I did there. Underneath, we have the Melody of Memory squad. So it's Vexen's team that's working with the true or real Ansem, Ansem the Wise. Uh, and what's going on with Kyrie at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. Next to them is the Twilight Town Struggle Crew. So you have Hainer, Cypher, and Setzer. I just think it'd be really cool to have three fighters that use the Struggle Bats in this game. At the very bottom, we have Marluxia and Zigbar connecting in to the Kingdom Hearts Union and the Foretellers, basically. So for those that are unaware, spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 3, Zigbar is actually Lushu, and Marluxia has a big part, well at least his somebody has a big part in the mobile Kingdom Hearts games, so that's why they're all connected. So you have Marluxia, you have Zigbar or Lushu if you will, then you have the Master of Masters, and then you move all the way over into the Foretellers. Next we have Zack, Cloud, and Tifa. If you actually look to the left of Zack, you have Oran, I believe is how you pronounce it, and he's in Kingdom Hearts 2. He's also a Final Fantasy character, but he's in Kingdom Hearts 2 in the Olympus Coliseum world. And then Zack, when he's younger, is actually in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep in the Olympus Coliseum. So that's the connection, but I'm actually using Zack's model when he's older in Final Fantasy Advent Children. So that kind of is that connection to Final Fantasy. And then next to him is Cloud, because him and Cloud are really tight, in case you didn't know. And then Tifa is right next to Cloud, because they're childhood friends. And it wouldn't be a Super Smash Bros. Kingdom Hearts game if we didn't have that iconic crossover from the Kingdom Hearts series with 
Final Fantasy. So we got Squall, Leonhart, or Leon. We have Yuffie. We have, of course, like I already mentioned before, Zack, Cloud, and Tifa. Then also, you know, if you have Cloud, you have to have Sephiroth. It's kind of a no-brainer. Noctis, Lightning, and then to round it all out, we have Titus, who is also in Kingdom Hearts 1, but just as like a supporting character for a very brief period of time. Next to them, we have the OG Disney villain crew, and I purposely put Maleficent next to the soldier Heartless because she's kind of in control of the Heartless in Kingdom Hearts 2. If you also notice, above the soldier Heartless is Ansem the Wise. The reason why I did that is because Ansem the Wise created the artificial Heartless, which we learn about in Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. Some other things to quickly notice, the Dream Eaters are actually a duo fighting team, sort of like, you know, Duck Hunt. The question mark next to Jack Sparrow is actually just the random button. I just, there was no other place for me to really put it when I was conceptualizing the roster. It does look a little bit weird, but we're just going to go with it. Now, your favorite Disney character, Kingdom Hearts character, or Final Fantasy character might not actually be on this roster, such as Yazora, but I'm doing DLC just like in Smash Bros, but that's going to have to be at another time because this video is already getting super duper long. Some things to note in my version of a Smash Bros Kingdom Hearts game, when you select an organization member and you change their alt or their their you know costume or skin or whatever, they can go to their somebody form. So Axel will turn into Lee if you choose his Lee color palette, if you will. Sora would have the most costumes out of all the characters in this hypothetical game. He would have his Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, Dream Drop Distance, along with color swaps to reference the different forms that he can take and Keyblade transformations as well. In addition to that, he would also have his costume changes that he gets for when he goes to like Halloween Town or the Pirates of the Caribbean world. So who are the DLC characters going to be? What stages are going to be pulled from the Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy universes? And also, what's the tier list for these characters? Well, if this video gets over 20 likes, then I will continue with the next part. So make sure you all do your part and like the video, please. I've been working so hard on these, I really enjoy making these videos, but I need to have some sort of return for it. If I'm spending days on a video and not that many people want to watch it or not that many people like it, then I'm not going to continue doing it. I'm wasting my time and most importantly, I'm wasting your time. So what did you guys think of my Kingdom Hearts Super Smash Bros roster? Let me know down in the comments along with any other questions you have. I have so much more to talk about with this hypothetical game that's never, and I repeat, never going to happen, but it's still really fun to do videos like this. It is Kingdom Hearts month for my channel and celebration for all of the Kingdom Hearts games coming to the Epic Game Store, so please subscribe if you want to stay tuned to all the Smash and Kingdom Hearts hybrid videos that will be coming out this month. The Pyra and Mithra video will probably come out next month. I'm really focusing on Kingdom Hearts this month. I really want to focus on a project and get that done. So if you are waiting for that, please don't worry. If you're tired of the Kingdom Hearts stuff, I completely understand. I have other videos out there, and there will be more Just Smash videos coming out next month. All right, I'm OC Disaster, and I hope you have a Smash-tastic rest of your day, and please, please, please let your hearts be your guiding key.